What's up guys, Matt back again with another unboxing video and today we're doing something a little different. Um, we are checking out the Master Stars piece Super Saiyan Trunks, um, but not only are we checking out the figure, we're going to check out a bootleg that I got a few months ago. Um, but before we dive into the video, please remember to subscribe so that you can see more videos like this. Uh, give this video a like if you enjoy it and want to see more. And of course, leave a comment down below, let me know. Have you ever gotten a bootleg figure by accident or on purpose um, when collecting uh, any type of figure? So this is actually my second time <laughs> accidentally buying a bootleg figure. Um, and it wasn't because of my lack of knowledge. The first time I got the resolution uh, of Soldier's Future Gohan from a local shop at my shopping mall when I lived in Florida. And I, I was very new to figure collecting. I think this was like early 2019 and I didn't really know anything about the Toei animation sticker, about um, the face, color, you know, comparing things. I wasn't part of groups so I didn't get a lot of feedback till later. Um, but yeah, I bought a bootleg figure thinking it was authentic and then I remember posting it in one of the Dragon Ball Collectors groups that I'm in on Facebook. Make sure you follow those. Um, and <laughs> people were just like, hey, it's fake <laughs> and, and I was really disappointed. So um, this time I bought this figure on eBay. I bet you couldn't tell which one was fake and which one was authentic, but I bought this figure, the bootleg, on eBay from a seller. And uh, at first, he I think he looked like he had some decent ratings or maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Um, and uh, the pictures of the figure looked fine and authentic, so I bought it. And as soon as it got here, as soon as I held the box, I felt like something was off. And um, I saw that there was no sticker on the top. I took the figure out and immediately from not even the figure, just the plastic that the figure was in, I could tell it was fake. So I thought it would be interesting for us to unbox the real figure um, and then uh, start comparing them and just kind of give uh, some ideas as to what to look out for when you're shopping for an authentic figure and so you can avoid some bootleg figures because sometimes people if you're like me you just want the authentic stuff you don't want fakes you don't want bootlegs because usually they don't look very good anyway so um let's dive into the figure we'll show some comparisons between the two um and then you'll get an idea of hopefully what to look out for uh, by the end of the video so let's go so let's start with the box differences upon first inspection they look very similar you can't really tell in the video though, but they're actually made of different material. The one on the left is cheap, flimsy, glossy material that you can tell right off the bat, whereas the real box is made with a little more cardboard-esque material. If you look a little bit deeper, you can actually see that the front side of the box is missing the Crane King and Ban Presto logo. Don't know why they decided to neglect this on the bootleg box, but Maybe that's to avoid legal scrutiny for selling a bootleg. The sides of the box are exactly the same. But when you take a look at the back of the box, it may look like they're exactly the same, but upon further inspection, you can see that the bootleg is missing the QR code. Of course, the biggest red flag is the missing Toei animation sticker on the top of the box, a staple for most Banpresto figures. When taking it out of the box, you're going to notice right away that the plastic for the bootleg figure is very cheap, Trunks is in pieces without being sectioned off, which leaves him vulnerable to damage, the plastic isn't sealed so the figure can also fall out, and his arm isn't attached to his body, something that the real figure does not do. The real Trunks has his pieces sectioned off, is completely sealed, and has his hair protected. An initial side-by-side -side of both figures might be tricky for you to spot the real one, but you can tell after observation that the paint application is applied much better on the real figure while the bootleg on the left looks like cheap plastic. Trunks' face is the biggest giveaway here. 
The bootleg has much rounder details on his eyes and face. His hair mold is also shaped ever so slightly different. The real figure has smaller, sharper eyes and his bangs are more dynamic. Trunks' sword also isn't bending due to being made out of bad material. Also, while I have had reviews with major QR issues on figures, this one is pretty bad with scratches and paint missing all over. And that's it. As you can see, there are little differences between each one which make the real figure look a little more professional. I hope you guys found this helpful as I didn't know this stuff when I first got into Dragon Ball figure collecting. I know we have some veterans on this channel that watch my reviews, but also people who are brand new to collecting or want to get into it. So please look out for these signs before you buy a figure. Make sure you go to a reputable seller. Make sure you go to an official site. Make sure you have live pictures of the figure and double check with other Facebook groups or groups in general that you're a part of to make sure that you are getting the real deal. If you don't care if you get a bootleg, then have at it. This is a good way to spot some cheap bootlegs. Obviously, price is always going to be a factor in this stuff, so make sure you look out for that too. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to see more figure reviews and videos like this. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Share it with a friend so that they're aware of bootleg figures. And I will see you in the next one. Later.